American Environmental Review is a national platform where nature and technology meet, where protecting and preserving our precious resources take center stage, where the spotlight seeks out and shines on the environmental innovators. This editorial series, featured on public television, takes an inside look at the outdoors, explores how the decisions we make today impact each of our tomorrows. Cycle Stop Valves was handpicked as a featured guest because of its commitment to the environment in which we live. Hello, I'm Morley Safer. Technology plays a role in just about every facet of our lives. What you're about to see are some examples of the many ways technology can be used to help care for the world in which we live. Population growth, development, and environmental contaminants have all had a harmful impact on our fresh water. This has led to decreased supply, increased restrictions, and new ways to regulate flow. Well, there's several ways to control water. Most commonly is uh, mechanical pressure switches. Uh, there's on-off switches, liquid level control switches, variable frequency drives, and pressure regulating valves. Techniques like these are used to reduce waste in irrigation and municipal systems. To obtain high water efficiency, it is important to have flow control in an irrigation system to precisely provide water as the crop exactly needs. But as flow rates vary, they can cause problems for many of these systems. They cycle, they kick on and off constantly when pumps are being used. This shortens the life of the system. With variable frequency drives, they're extremely expensive and are very hard on the motors. And they don't conserve any more energy. One of the many things that we have to look for in the water business as we add new customers is our energy charges going up. We have to limit these energy charges and we're constantly looking for new ways to conserve energy. The search to reduce power consumption and maintain optimum flow has led to a mechanical approach. A control valve has recently been developed that chokes back on the output of a pump to match the user's water requirements. It's a simple pump control valve basically just attaches to the discharge of your pump and throttles the pump back to match the usage. So the pump's not always pumping full flow. It pumps exactly what you need. There's no electronics to it whatsoever. It just works off of pressure. And when there is no water usage, it lets a small bladder tank fill up and a simple pressure switch shuts the pump off. What the cycle valve has allowed us to do is stop pumps from coming on and off, which saves you on your energy charges. It also limits water leaks because you don't have the sudden surges and stops of the water hammering. Thus, we don't have the leaks in these systems that we used to have, and it's become a water conservation tool. Controlling the flow rather than the pump speed can conserve more than just water. And it can also reduce the use of fertilizer and pesticides, resulting in reduced environmental pollution and improved water conservation and quality. Sometimes a simple idea can set a new trend in how we conserve energy. And as these changes occur, they may also help make the concept of sustainability a little more obtainable. Next time we'll discover more innovations that help to protect and preserve natural resources. Thanks for joining us. Been in this industry for over 20 years and studying the history of it. The impact that I see that the cycle stop valve has made in our industry, to me, relates to the windmill and the impact that it had in our industry over 100 years ago. Technology is a science of practical or industrial arts, and technology properly applied is a beautiful thing.
The cycle stop valve is a simple way of controlling pumps. Unlike uh, big water towers and variable speed drives and all kinds of electronics equipment that makes a pump run, it's a simple mechanical valve that only can, cares about the pressure and the water that you're getting. It can work on a small application such as your own home or a municipal where there's thousands of people getting water, irrigation, feedlots, any, anywhere there's water needed, the cycle stop valve can give you that water at the right rate all the time. World population, consumption, and technology push forward, often more quickly than natural resources can support, or with consequences more costly than we can afford. The need for a unified effort to nurture, renew, and protect the planet has never been more compelling. Therefore, once again, American Environmental Review extends a special thanks to the companies and organizations that have risen to meet today's environmental challenges. This has been a presentation of WJMK.